Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're probably new here and you're probably watching this video because you're going on Accutane, you are on Accutane, you're thinking about it, whatever the story may be, I am going to make this video all about my Accutane journey. So this is week one of me being on Accutane. I want to talk to you guys about everything. I want to share like the good, the bad, the ugly, the dryness, because that is a very real thing, let me tell you. Basically, that's what's going to be this whole video. It's probably going to be really long, so grab your popcorn and just bear with me because I want to be a resource for you guys. I want people to be able to come to this video and be like okay I'm like ready to go I'm set for what to know about being on Accutane so I have been on Accutane as I was saying for about one week now like one and a half two weeks but I want to do an update like this every month just sharing the products that have helped me how my skin is feeling how I'm feeling what it's all like because as I was saying I really want to be a resource and I want to be helpful to you guys if you're going through what I'm going through so here goes a little backstory I went to the dermatologist when my acne was like very mild. I was like, okay, let me just go and see if he can prescribe me this cream or something, whatever to use on my face to help my acne go away. So he prescribed me this cream. I believe it was called tretinoin cream. I was using that for like three months, I think, and it was not doing anything. It really was not helping my acne kind of made it worse, made my skin just feel really dry and irritated and it was getting red and just nasty. It was not the best thing. So I was like, I'll go back in and tell him that it's not working for my skin. And so I did that. I went back in and I explained to my dermatologist how my skin was feeling and that it was kind of making it worse or just not doing anything at all. So he prescribed me, I think it was a benzoyl peroxide spray or one of those like spot treatment things. And I discovered that I was allergic to benzoyl peroxide or whatever else was in what he prescribed me because I broke out in this itchy red rash and it was super uncomfortable. So went back again was prescribed another topical cream that did not do much for my skin. I barely even had the opportunity to use it for like more than a month because I had another allergic reaction to that. So by that time, my skin had gotten much worse. I was now getting cystic acne and it was just really painful and uncomfortable. And I am one, just gonna be honest here about this. I am one to pop and pick at all of my zits, which I know is bad. I know that's like the one thing that is forbidden like you should not do that if there was something to be popped i was like bam and it would take like three times as long to heal i was like okay like what do i do about this it's not getting better and so i went back into the dermatologist and he was then like okay the next route would be accutane i was always so so insecure about my acne and like i still am i'm saying was because i'm hopeful that this drug will get rid of all my acne and i will have clear skin you guys probably never saw this in vlogs because i was really never open about it and again it was my main security so main insecurity what so i didn't really feel like flaunting it in my vlogs and being like oh look at this cystic acne i have isn't it cute you know so basically how it all works i'm going to try to explain this quickly because you might know this if you've already gone through this process i don't know if it differs between dermatology providers but at my dermatologist i had to sign my whole life away on eye pledge papers so they make you sign that you know the side effects so you know that your skin's gonna get dry as heck you know that your child will have birth defects if you become pregnant wanted to clarify i only mean while on the drug so if you become pregnant otherwise and you're not taking it like later in life you're good to go you know that once you go off the drug you can't get pregnant for 30 days after and just so on and so forth it's a bunch of stuff like you have to initial and then my mom had to also initial because i am under the age of 18 and if you are over 18 don't have to worry about your parents signing anything but if you are under 18 you have to have like your legal guardian signing off on that stuff too and then if you are a female you have to take a pregnancy test this was a new thing for me i've never done that before after you sign your life away there's a 30-day waiting period between the time that you give all the eye pledge papers or like turn in all the eye pledge papers to your dermatology office and when you go get your blood tested you have to have a blood test every month when you're on accutane because it has been shown in like very rare cases this doesn't happen often that it can mess with your liver or other internal organs so you have to get your blood drawn every month just to make sure that you're healthy on the inside and the dermatologist will make sure that you're healthy on the outside so 
you go to the lab after 30 days it cannot be 29 it cannot be 28 like it has to be precisely 30 days so you get your blood drawn and that goes back to the lab that takes like a day to process so it's really short and then you go in for your dermatologist visit and that's where they prescribe you the actual drug i am currently on the 10 milligram and my dermatologist said that he would up it every single month or like however often i go in for a visit so that my body can slowly get used to it and it's not just like boom 40 milligrams because that would be too harsh on your body and i think it does depend on your weight and it is on a case-by-case -case basis so that is where i'm at right now i have been taking accutane for about a week every single month i have to go up on the i hope website sign in with all my username password information and take a little test and it's just really basic questions that hopefully everyone taking Accutane should know. It's questions along the lines of true or false. Accutane can cause birth defects. You check true. And then there's ones about like ovulation just to make sure that you know and you're educated about this stuff because they really want to make it clear that you cannot get pregnant when you're taking it. So here I am at this point. So far I haven't felt emotional or depressed nothing out of the norm if anything i'm like happier because i know that my skin will be clear my lips that's the biggest thing my lips have become extremely dry and it's literally only been a week i do notice that my skin's a little more dry it's gotten a little bit flaky on my nose so this stuff has really been key for my face this is just a cerave cerave i don't know how to say it daily moisturizing lotion and this stuff is great this is why dermatologists recommended if you're wondering there we go, that's a little brighter. If you're wondering what moisturizer to use, ask your dermatologist because they know what's best. They're literally professionals. They know your skin and all that stuff. So this is what my dermatologist recommended for me. And so far I've really had no issues with this and it's been really great for my skin because my skin is sensitive. So I have to be careful with what I'm using. Good old Aquaphor, super helpful for the lips. Best thing I've used. I tried Carmex wasn't the biggest fan of that. I would recommend Aquaphor over that. And then this stuff, this is just a little mini CeraVe healing ointment that my dermatologist also recommended that I use. I'm like sitting in the weirdest position right now. Holy moly, I've been talking for 20 minutes. This is what my skin looks like. Gonna get all up close and personal. Uh, I have had breakouts and like dry skin in this little region of my face. It's gotten pretty bad in this area on both sides of my face. And then up here in my forehead, it's also pretty bad. This one is a stick. It's going down a little bit though. And then this was cystic, but it has gone down. You can see it's like still healing so that is that i have like four or five active pimples on my face but the rest is just hyperpigmentation i'm so sorry about this video and its length it's probably gonna be so overly long but i will see you guys in three weeks to give an update and the rest of the updates are not going to be this long because i won't have to talk about any backstory i will just give a straight up update so that is all for week one and i will see you all in three weeks Hey guys, what's up? It has been three weeks since I last updated you guys. It is the start of my second month on Accutane. I'm now taking the 20 milligrams twice a day. And one thing I noticed when I like first opened the uh, box to take my first little capsule for the month is that every single month is a different color, which I think is so interesting. It's like a random fact. So last month was orange. This month is like maroon, really random. But if you were to come up to me and ask like, oh, how's it going? How are you feeling? I would say, great. I'm feeling feeling so good i have not had any like changes in my mood nothing abnormal i've not felt depressed i've not had any suicidal thoughts because i know that is like a real thing that can happen to some people but i consider myself very blessed and lucky that i have not had any of that happen to me no really like predominant joint pain sorry my hair is like whack today i've not really experienced anything huge other than the dryness i already see a difference in my skin which is amazing i already feel so much more confident i feel like ever since about a week ago i have started to see kind of a difference i had a bunch of little tiny um i guess you could say they were bumps but they were completely colorless but they were on my forehead all of those have gone away which is amazing i obviously will still have acne on my face because the accutane has not run its course i am super happy with like everything so far my lips have definitely gotten more dry my skin has not been super dry i've just been moisturizing a lot and i think that's helped um yeah nothing huge other than the fact that my skin already looks better so i made a little note in the notes up on my phone and i've been keeping track of any like predominant side effects that i've felt so 
a couple things the first one being i have felt a little more tired than usual that might just be because i'm like constantly going doing summary things all day long but i have definitely felt that since i started accutane i felt just a little bit more tired second thing is that my hair has not been greasy this is like my favorite side effect of accutane because before going on accutane i had to wash my hair every single day because my hair was so greasy it just got so greasy so quickly and my scalp is a little more dry but not to the point of like flaky or like my hair's falling out or anything like that i have just been able to not wash this hair every time i take a shower which has been really nice it's actually saved me a lot of time which i really am a huge fan of my skin has gotten a little more dry i do notice like i'll get out of the pool and like go like that or something and i'll be like oh my skin's kind of dry but just using that cerave moisturizer that i mentioned in my first update has really helped a lot i've been using the exact same products still loving my aquaphor i put this on probably like five to ten times a day because my lips are really dry if i don't put this on my lips will get like super flaky another thing that i've really noticed is that i've been wearing a lot less makeup because i already feel so much more confident in my skin and like i've been going out before i would not go out without makeup i would like be have to put on my concealer or my foundation or anything like that because it's like oh i need to cover up my acne but now because it's gone away i've literally only been wearing concealer mascara and lip gloss and then obviously sunscreen if i remember because my skin's super sensitive and that's it and i've already felt that this is like already been worth it just for my self-confidence and like for my mental health because it's just been like really cool for me to see myself like confidence wise just go straight up because acne as i mentioned was and still is like my main insecurity i didn't look in the mirror and say like oh i'm a perfect creation in christ i looked in the mirror and i was like oh i have acne like i do not look good today i have to wear makeup to cover it up and i kind of wish i had shared more about it when it was like really bad on my channel because i never talked about it when it was really bad it always covered up and then i'd vlog or i was covered up and then i'd film a video and you guys feel like never really got to see when it was at its worst and i kind of regret not sharing that because now coming from that standpoint i feel like there are probably so many other people who are struggling with it like i struggled with it and it would have been wiser of me to talk about it on here when it was really bad but I'm glad that I'm talking about it now. So the next thing I've noticed is bloody noses. This is kind of gross and a little bit TMI, but I have had quite a few bloody noses. I was at the lake and I got a really bad one. I had to like sit in the bathroom for a half an hour. I probably had like five or six in the past month, but that is pretty much the update for this month. Still using the same products as last month and I'm just really excited to see how my skin progresses. So. Let's get a little close up. I have no makeup on right now. Whatever shimmers on my lip is just from Aquaphor. As you can see, I still have it pretty bad on the sides of my face, but it definitely has gone away a little bit. So if we're looking like this at the bottom of my face, it still is on the side here, which like obviously is expected, but the majority of it on my forehead has gone away. I have all these little white spots on my forehead, but I think that's just from like previous stuff that I've picked which i shouldn't have done and then the combination of it being dry i had this little one right here that is like still healing i also have a little bit in between my eyebrows but it's literally gotten tremendously better and as i said i really have not had to wear like had to wear but i haven't felt the need to wear a lot of makeup so i'm super excited to be sharing this on the internet with you guys i hope this is helping if anyone is going through this and they're watching this video or if you're about to go through this and i'm really excited and looking forward to what next month will hold so see you guys in four weeks hi everyone okay time for an update i feel like it's been forever since i've filmed one of these updates but it really hasn't it's only been like a month this is update i don't know if it's number three or four but it's month number three so i started on 30 milligrams of accutane i think it was like a week and a half ago and i just haven't had a time to sit down and film an update for you guys yet so i don't want to talk about any products because it would just be so repetitive because all the products i mentioned at the beginning of this I've been using all those exact same things the past three months. I've not used anything different or anything new. Anyway, at the start of month three, so before I went on 30 milligrams of Accutane and I'm taking 30 milligrams twice a day. Also, random side note, I'm not wearing any makeup right now, but mascara. So... I'll get to that in a second. Anyway, I keep getting so sidetracked. So about like a week before I went on the next or higher dosage, I had a really bad breakout slash breakouts and it was like kind of self-inflicted because I picked up my skin because I was stressed out. Don't like this lighting. <laughs> Let's start with that. Let's fix it. It's like nine o'clock at night. Mm, 
That's not better. Okay. Before going on Accutane, when I had extreme stress, I would break out really bad or I would pick my skin, which made it look like I broke out because my skin would be all red. And because sometimes I get these tiny dots on my forehead that are like invisible to anyone else but me, but they can be pop. I'm sorry, this is like kind of TMI. This is what this video is about. So whatever. So I'd get those on my forehead and it just happened to be whenever I was kind of stressed out. I think that's what it was or it was just random. I don't really know. I'd be stressed out. And so I'd like be looking at myself in the mirror and be like, what can I do to like relieve my stress? And I didn't really think that. It just kind of happened mentally because it's a really bad habit I have. And I would pick at my skin and it then made it look like I had pimples all over my forehead and my forehead was all red because I had the irritation on my skin because I popped my zits and it was like totally unnecessary. But that's really all I have to say skin wise. Other than that, I can definitely see that my skin is improving so much. My skin has been pretty dry recently, more dry than normal, especially my lips. But I keep saying that every time. I have this on my nightstand, in my backpack, and in my cheer bag. Got one of these, but the one in my backpack is like huge. This is just a little teeny tiny one. Aquaphor, I'm not even kidding, is my BFF. That's like where I'm at right now. I do feel like my skin has gotten a lot better. I'll show you guys. So this is my skin right now. Do, do, do. Obviously I do have this like cysty thingy, which is really gross looking on my forehead, but that's from that breakout before. And this is the first cyst that I've gotten the entire time I have been on Accutane. And I knew it was coming like I, was feeling my forehead and I was like, oh no. Does anyone else have like a favorite eyebrow? This one is my favorite. It's like great and this one's like just eh. <laughs> I need to do that thingy with my like teeny tiny face razor to get all this peach fuzz on my chin away. But I do have a little bit of breaking out right here. I do have a couple blackheads on my nose, but most of it's like disguised with freckles. My forehead, you can see the teeny tiny dots because I'm so close, but they're like barely noticeable until I totally pick at them. Sorry, I like, totally changed the frame, but I was trying to up the brightness it should have been like this the whole video but this is what my skin currently looks like i do feel like it's gotten a lot better so that is the update for month number three and i will see you guys in one more month hi guys okay please ignore how gross this background is i have like my bed's totally unmade and my room is a mess behind me but i have to do one of these updates because i have not done one and i think it's been like almost two months or like a month and a half i don't know Anyway, I didn't do one last month because I repeated the same dosage just due to the fact that in my blood test that I did, because as I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, you have to do a blood test just to make sure all your levels are good and everything. So my triglyceride levels were high. It might've just been because I was sick whenever I had my blood test, but my doctor had me repeat the same dosage. So basically just an extra month. And then I was supposed to take fish oil every morning. So I did that for the majority of the month. And then I had another blood test. It was like a whole lipids panel thing, just to make sure everything was good and then I went back to my doctor when it was time for my appointment everything was all good so I don't have to take the fish oil anymore but I'm pretty sure it's just because I was sick but right now as you can see I have makeup on so this is like kind of cheating it's not my full actual face but it's because I'm going to my friend's birthday dinner and I have no time to film this and I'm like I just have to do it now this month has been so good my lips have been so so dry my doctor said I've been taking really good care of my skin I've been washing my face whenever I'm in the shower and I always take off my makeup and I try to wash my face in the morning and the night. Usually it just happens in the nighttime because I'm so rushed in the mornings. Hold on, I need to adjust this. Okay. Anyway, for the most part, I've been so happy with how my skin is looking and I felt so, so, so confident. My back, wait, actually this is perfect because this has no straps. So I can show you guys what my back looks like, but my back knee, as I call it, I don't know, is that like a term that everybody uses for acne on your back? I don't know, but my back knee was the worst thing about my acne. That's one of the reasons why I went on acne because I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I'm not sure if I did at the beginning of this, but I live in California and it's always really warm here. Everyone's at the beach. So I wear swimsuits a lot, especially in the summer. And it just makes me so self-conscious if I have acne on my back when I'm wearing a swimsuit because it's just, I, you know, it's just like a thing. You know what I mean? Also for date reference, it is October 26th. Okay, I don't know whether or not you can see this or anything, but this is what my back looks like. It's very clear for the most part, and I had like cysts and just grossness happening on my back. And my back was just a main problem area for me. So, anyway, I'm all over the place. This is super scattered right now, but this is my last month of Accutane, which is crazy. I'm really happy with how this is all gone, and I haven't had any major issues other than like the teeny, teeny, tiny scare with my like triglyceride levels. But otherwise, everything has gone almost perfectly. My lips have just been the main challenge because I hate having chapped lips, but once this is all over, 
I'll be good and it's not been like where my lips have been bleeding because I've carried aquaphor with me everywhere anyway I don't really have much of an update I've been using pretty much all the same products and my skin I feel like is looking really good so this thing has just been here for like weeks now it's just a little red spot that hasn't really gone away that was something i popped so if i hadn't have popped that it'd be absolutely gone by now so that is my fault but as you can see literally i'll put the video or like a little snapshot of it or a picture or something of before i went on accutane so you can see what the side of my face looked like because it was the worst for the most part my skin is clear which is crazy for me to say because i've just struggled with persistent stubborn acne that hasn't gone away so this has just been huge for my self-confidence i have not had any depression or suicidal thoughts or anything like that and nothing in my mood has changed i was gonna say fatigued but then i'm like averaging six hours of sleep every night which is so bad it's terrible anyway that's for a whole nother video but that's the update for this month i'm so happy with my skin and i cannot wait to be back here in one month off of accutane giving you guys my final update so see you then hi guys okay please ignore my messy room and this lighting anyway you guys probably thought this was going to be the last update but it's not my doctor extended my accutane one more month because my skin is so stubborn and i'm still getting really 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 small breakouts on my face and he just wants to make sure that it's all gone and all gone away so on to month number seven also for date reference it's november 22nd anyway don't want to drag this on one thing that has really been helping me is vitamin e oil i've been putting that on any little scabs or dry spots on my skin and it's all cleared up really fast and any little scabs i have have healed my lips are really dry aquaphor is my bff and i'm trying to figure out this lighting situation that's a little better also guys it literally looks like i'm not wearing clothes i promise i am this is so awkward the majority of things on my face are because i picked at my skin there should be nothing to pick that's why i'm going for another month i have this on auto and so it's like focusing directly on my face because on the person setting and so you can really see everything okay here we go the majority of this side of my face is totally clear anything that you're seeing here is just scarring like there's no bumps or like active pimples this is what my forehead looks like right here i have this little scabby looking thing but from far away like if i wasn't all up in your face it's really not noticeable i think this is just a little like scar or red spot but my doctor said he was giving me this retinol cream to put on my face and that's gonna get rid of all the scars once i'm all done with accutane and then i think this is like the worst little section it's really not bad i think it's just like mainly the t-zone of my face but that's the update freaking freak i've been filming for eight minutes i was gonna do this in one minute okay i need to leave goodbye for now hello the moment has come i'm officially done with accutane I still have a couple more pills to take, but I'm done. Today's Friday. I had my last appointment on Wednesday, and I'm so happy to be sitting here giving this update. Everything through my whole Accutane journey went so smoothly. I had such a great experience going on Accutane, and I am so much more confident now than I was six, seven months ago, however long I was on Accutane. My lips are still chapped, and I feel like they'll be permanently chapped forever. No, they won't actually, but they're so chapped. <laughs> and my skin looks really good. I do have some red spots, but the doctor's prescribing me this cream that I use for a year that's going to get rid of or help with at least the scars and any red spots that are left over from being on Accutane. So I do have a couple of those, but those are easily covered up by concealer. I, by the way, sorry, I should have mentioned this. I don't have any face makeup on whatsoever, aside from I brush my eyebrows out and then I have mascara and I put lip stuff on this morning. It's pretty much all gone though. Also the biggest thing for me that changed and made me more confident was my back. I wish I took a before picture of my back, but I didn't. My back is flawless, I swear. There's nothing on my back or my chest. I had acne on my chest and my back and it's all gone completely. So I don't know what else to say for this other than the fact that I'm done. If you're watching this video to decide whether or not you should go on Accutane, I would definitely recommend going on it. Obviously you have to go through the process with your dermatologist. You can't just walk in and be like, I want Accutane. Doctors call it the last resort because you have to go through creams, oils, sprays, the whole freaking enchilada. I know it's different for everybody, but I'm just super happy that it's over with and that I hopefully will have clear skin forever that's crazy to say because i was just not confident in my skin or myself and it's all oh shoot money gone away don't look at that because i just scratched it by accident so it's all red but for a final update dun 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 Done. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you if you watched all the way to the end. What the heck, you're a rock star. But I hope that you guys got something out of this and I hope it was really beneficial to you and helpful, especially if you are thinking of going on Accutane or you're on Accutane. Hope you all have a great day and I will see you really soon. Bye guys. Mwah.